I went to just Confluence and uh, it's day one and we're talking about urban development. Uh, we have a very interesting uh, guest with me, Mr. Tarun Kumar, and uh, he has a, a venture called Echo STP. Uh, Mr. Tarun, just briefly tell why the whole waste water management is important for any cities. Hello, all. Yeah, my, my name is Tarun. So, waste water is very, very critical because we have to treat the waste. We all go morning, we flush, flush it, it has to be treated. And today, treatment is done by a lot of chemicals, a lot of power, a lot of motor, a lot of operators. So, we came with a solution, it's a, it's a patented solution, which treats wastewater, whatever you all generate, without any chemicals, no power, and without any operators. And it works, right? And we have a patented solution. We have uh, over 20 uh, customers, we have in Bangalore itself. They're saving power by not putting a, a, any conventional motor with CSTP. And that's important because more and more people moving to uh, cities, we heard that 600 million is going to come to cities by 2030. 600 million, that's a lot, right? But now, how can you put up a, you can't put a big, big motor based STP. You need to have some way uh, to resolve it. So, we believe that's the best way solution, and we have a solution ideally made for buildings. So, every building can have an STP built in around the building. So, it treats the waste, it's not a biophilic design. So, whatever generated by this, this apartment will be treated there in a decentralized manner. Instead of sending to a big pipe, uh, digging the road and then sending to a big um, uh, big STP which doesn't work and goes eventually goes to lakes. So that's what we. Mm -hmm. So basically, instead of uh, going for a centralized, uh, you know, uh, sewage treatment plant STP, you are having to decentralized decentralized plant. Uh, and also, what about the existing buildings, there? Because uh, many uh, cities have already built, like almost mm -hmm. uh, most of the cities are built. So do you have uh, solutions for uh, uh, the existing buildings too? Yes, we are doing for existing buildings, but it's always a challenge because uh, we is already handed out to the residents. So there's always a union, there's a apartment uh, groupism. So we normally get lost in that that melee. And end of the day, it's we are all uh, I would say personally say we're not that um, sustainable in the in the heart, right? I, I can put it in the drain right in front of me. Why should I even spend money on anything? Like when when a drain is there, we are all good. We are sustainable people, but uh, I don't want to spend anything. So that's where we get challenged. Right? That's very, very hard reality, wherein it's easy for me to dump it to the drain than put an STP, whether conventional or whatever. I remember when um, the long time back Coke said our competition is Limpupani, not uh, Pepsi or anything. It's the same thing. My competition is safety tanks. Easily I can put a ring and it, it and put there and all the waste goes there. It pollutes my bow well. Doesn't matter. But a ring is so cheap. Exactly. <laughs> so that's where we have the old one we have stuck with. And also the interesting part is uh, uh, the Echo STP doesn't use any electricity and no harmful chemicals also, which is a very, very uh, right. you know, important aspect of any STP. And what the just confluence and uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, people from the sustainability sector have come here. What are the takeaways from here, Tarun? Yeah, I guess uh, all of them said about uh, public awareness. Number two, everyone spoke about regulatory change. So that's the biggest lever. If you can push, things will happen. Like, like I said in the conference, mo most of my customers are real estate builders because you need to have a STP approval then only you get OC, open certificate, but otherwise I can't do it. So we don't have, so a college, you won't close down a college or school if you don't have an STP, you can dump it to the train. So that regulatory pushes where they can really, and otherwise we have to wait, we have to wait for the slowly awareness creating and hopefully the tipping point will happen, hopefully that hockey stick will happen, we have to wait, maybe it take a generation. So regulation is where we need to drill a lot of yeah. And thanks uh, uh, Tarun and uh, uh, today was day one of uh, Just Confluence and uh, all the viewers there, please log on to justconfluence.com and uh, smartsustain.in brings regular updates on this and you can uh, check out all the updates uh, including Tarun's uh, interview on smartsustain.in and uh, all the social media handles also. Thank you very much. Thank you.